gone down a lot, but I am on a one-way street to melanoma right now. Um, it was totally worth it. Save, save some room for Jesus. Yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> you want to see that? Yeah. yeah! Okay, thank you so much for helping out being my co-star here. I'm not really in a funny mood today. But little Talia was in a funny mood 90% of the time. Or I guess the mood that I find funny now, anyway. <laughs> so today, I'm going to be reading little Talia's diary. One of them. I had a lot of diaries. This is nine-year-old Talia, by the way, so this is seven years ago now. The diary begins with no date because I was too busy having a gigantic crush on a boy called Brocklin to give two fucks about what date it was. Today my BFF, FFFFFFFFF, <laughs> since Kindy is coming over, she now claims to not remember me at all, so we were really good friends. At least I thought we were. Aspley. I actually remember writing that out and going, I don't know how to spell assembly. I'll just miss out the middle bit. I actually tried with the date this time, but I forgot it. <laughs> no, what was I doing here? I guess this was like after the school holidays and I was worried that Brooklyn forgot about me over the course of maybe half a month. Maybe Brooklyn had short term memory loss. I don't know. I don't know his story. Ain't he perfect? Not according to that drawing, he's not. I do not deserve him. I probably wasn't wrong. This was the beginning of something that I continued throughout this entire diary. I don't know why. Hallelujah! Talia finally got the date right! OMG! Drama! Hee hee! Brooklyn gave me a... Take a guess, guys! Bracelet! Woo! Drama! And here's a drawing of the exact exchange that we had. Word for word. I'm eating toast and watching TV in bed. That is a very accurate representation of the way I spent my childhood. There's no explanation here. B likes me! And then we have the most horrifying image to ever accompany a happy sentence like that. If that was what a normal bedtime was like for me as a kid, uh, kind of explains a lot. Okay, I'm gathering that I was terrorized by my bed as a child and that's the root cause of my extreme weirdness. I drew Brooklyn's face inside the word OMG. Playing with a boy at lunch was the pinnacle of my childhood. It's about as close to a boy as I've ever gotten. It's just kind of the pinnacle of my life, really. I think I'm in love. And I'm only nine! <laughs> you can tell I'm in love because of the way I proclaimed it in very big, bold capital letters on the next page. I was too overwhelmed by these thoughts to use correct English. See, here we go again. I hate bed. I think I was trying to hint at something here. Why the fuck am I drawing such creepy stuff before bed? Like, seriously. What the hell? Oh no. I fell off my scooter right in front of Brooklyn. How humiliating, Talia. Brooklyn nearly completely ignored me today, although I think it was because he was sorry for me. I mean, <laughs> he might have felt sorry for you, but it's not because you fell off your scooter. Brooklyn is over and he read you. You know, I was kind of excited that he read this diary because I was like, oh, now he'll know that I have feelings for him, but I just feel like he would have been really, really worried. I would be worried if I read this about myself. I was a little bit obsessive. No friends till tomorrow, then my BFF is coming over and then going. What's the use? I'm miserable, annoyed, sad, totally not crying. I remember this. I thought my life was over. It was not. Okay, my drawings have significantly improved. Still could use some work though. I have talked to Brooklyn. But he won't ask. Should I ask? I might. I'm building up courage here. Okay, so it's three days later and now I'm saying I might break up with him. I didn't even know we were together. I just kind of pretended we were together. So he wasn't really trio timing. He just had three friends that happened to be girls. I drew a picture of me crying in bed and then I said, unfortunately I don't have time for that. Guess why not? Three sleepovers. <laughs> Busy girl. <laughs> Didn't break up with him. You don't have to anyway, little Talia, cause you're not actually together. Makes things a lot easier. So I'm with my friends in Dunedin. I'm still obsessing over Brooklyn. I'm lying in bed at the hotel. It feels like home. It's got a pool. Just like my home. I'm at the end of my diary now, and I finish it by saying, If someday someone should find it, please punctuate it, I say. Like, I haven't put a comma right there. Write it into a book, maybe? Farewell. Summary of this diary. I have a massive obsession with this one kid, and I'm absolutely terrified of bears. This is going to be the end of this video, so thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.